Hello everyone, this is Yana Smakula and thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'll show you how to create three colorful butterfly cards using Simon Says Stamp April 2018 card kit. Similar to my previous video with Simon's card kit, this is going to be a tutorial video showing how I use supplies from my kit, plus Copic markers and Nouveau drops to put some fun and simple cards together. Every time I get a kit where there's patterned paper, I like to lay it out on my desk to be able to see it all. I then pick the sheets that I like the best and I trim them down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. This is just something that works for me. The smaller card front paper size seems more manageable and I just don't feel so overwhelmed compared to when I have the six by six or larger paper sheets on my desk. Besides, my table is a constant mess, so having smaller sized papers here really helps. Included in this month kit is also a large 6x8 stamp set filled with beautiful spring butterflies. There are two full-size pads of Distress Oxide inks in Squeeze Lemonade and Mermaid Lagoon, a blending brush from Ranger, and also a stencil. I'm only using pattern papers and a stamp set for the cards I'm sharing in this video. Once I had my paper cut to size, I used my Misty tool and I stamped some of the butterflies and leafy branches from my stamp set onto white cardstock in Simon's Intense Black ink. Now, whenever I double stamp with this ink, and that's pretty much all the time, I like to zap the paper with a heat gun just for a few seconds to let the ink really dry. If you double stamp it, if you double stamp your image and use very light colors of Copic markers, the ink might bleed a little bit since the light colors of Copic markers have a ton of colorless blender in them. So I solved this problem by heat setting the ink. If I stamp the image just once though, I'm not building as much ink on my paper and I don't have this problem. I used just a handful of Copic markers for my coloring and I went with greens, yellows, and pinks fresh and bright colors for spring. I used YG03 and YG17 to color the leafy branches. And you can see that I did super simple coloring here. No blending, just flicking with my markers. And if you'd like to learn more about the flick style coloring with Copic markers, I have a video explaining this kind of coloring in detail and I'll link to it here. I also used YG19 color to color the dots on the butterfly wings. So just one color here. And I did color some of the butterfly bodies with a gray marker, with a dark gray marker at first, but later I decided that I wanted to keep them white. So I recolored my butterflies, but I did use exactly the same marker colors. So for the pinks, I used RV 14, 13 and 11. And this is my go-to pink color combo. I also later added some RV09 to intensify that pink. I went outside the lines a little bit as I was coloring, so to fix that I used my white gel pen. At first I wanted to cut these butterflies right up to the edge, so without a white border, and I did cut one or two butterflies out like that, but I decided that I didn't quite like that look. So I recut them having a nice white border around them, and you'll see me cutting them out in just a second. Here I'm stamping a few more images and I'm also zapping them with my heat tool and going to color using same colors of markers as before. The idea was to have at least one branch and one butterfly for each of my cards. For my first card, I decided to use this pretty pink paper with a diagonal stripe, but I didn't want to cover the entire front of my card with patterned paper. I wanted to have some white space. I used the grid lines of my cutting mat to apply double-sided adhesive onto an A2 white card base and then adhere a patterned paper panel on a straight line. I used my tonic trimmer and cut the excess paper off. I'm saving that leftover piece of paper just in case I want to use it for another card. Next, I used my foam adhesive squares and I foam mounted the branch onto the card, overlapping both the patterned paper panel and the white card base. I stamped your simply the best sentiment in black ink right at the top of that patterned paper panel and foam mounted my butterfly on top. Here you can see the two butterflies, one with the white border and one without. I think it's a matter of preference, personal preference, but I like the one with the white border better. So that's the one I used for my card. 
I used my tonic aqua shimmer pen and I added a generous amount of shimmer onto the wings of my butterfly and that really made this image pop. I also stamped a little swirl in black ink. There are two of those swirls included in the stamp set so you can add either onto your card to the butterflies. Finally, I embellished this card using Nouveau Drops in white. I thought about using pink, but I'm happy I went with white as I think they worked much better for this card. For my second project, I went with a similar design, but I left white space at the bottom of the card base and not at the top. Here I'm using my tonic scissors and cutting these images out. I love these scissors for this specific purpose and I'm so happy that I got them several months ago. I think these are the best scissors for fussy cutting that I've ever had. I went with bigger sentiment for this card, have a beautiful day, and I stamped it so that it overlapped both the white card base and patterned paper panel. I should have stamped this separately first onto the panel and later onto the card base and align the two impressions, but I didn't think of that at the time, so I stamped it onto both of them at the same time. So there is a small gap in ink where the patterned paper panel ends, but it's not very noticeable, so that didn't bother me and I just left it as is. In case you're new to the Simon Says Stamp Card Kits, you can subscribe to their card kit of the month for $29.99 and get a new kit delivered straight to your door. If you do not want to subscribe but you still would like to purchase the kit, you can purchase kits separately, but they do cost a little bit more this way. I believe it's $35. You can also get many of the kit components separately. For example, the stamp set is available separately. And often you get the pattern paper and other kit parts separately if you like. I foam mounted my main branch and used glue to adhere the other leaves in place. I also added a butterfly and once again I embellished this card with white Nouveau drops. For my third card I cut a pattern paper panel at a diagonal following the printed lines. Next I adhered it in place. I stamped a large sentiment that reads, you make me feel like I can fly. So I stamped it just onto the white card base portion of the card. And I adhered two butterflies in place using glue. I did shape their wings and added foam square under each of the wings to maintain dimension. Now, I always like to have odd number of things on my card. So this card with two butterflies just didn't seem right to me. So I white heat embossed your simply the best sentiment or sub sentiment onto black cardstock banners and I foam mounted those in place onto the card. I also stamped additional solid butterflies using black ink to have a total of five butterflies on my project and that looked much better to me. So this finishes my video. Be sure to visit my blog or check the video description for the full list of supplies I used to make these projects. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, as always, please leave them in a comment section below and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet done so. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.